How about I have a vague question. So, what, what do you think of the future of data engineering? Uh, like in terms, in terms, of, like the tools, the position, like how how it's gonna develop future. So what you what we're seeing, and uh, a lot of you have also seen this. Like Ram, uh, we were also looking on, on uh, Azure on this with Data Factory. It's very easy to actually do these simple and also Josh, like when you when you use glue to to find out the uh, um, create a data catalog where you okay this is the data in in my in my uh, in my data lake where these are the files these structures this automatic you can find that out automatically now and yeah, create like a data catalog yeah. and then there are tools where it's just like point and click okay this is a structure here this is the structure there and you just like it just automatically connects the the yeah, basically the, the attributes and it just writes it there so that's what we're what what's coming more and more and more for okay. easy jobs like it's it's not that hard anymore or you don't you don't need to do that much coding anymore for the easy things we're this is my base data. Ah, look, my uh, in my warehouse, my staging table looks exactly like the base data. Then we'll just do a one-to-one -one copy there. It's pretty simple. If it gets more complicated and you need to do more more transformation work, or you need or you need to do some specific things, then that that like data cleaning or pre-processing, this is where it gets complicated, and this then is where you can't automate stuff anymore. So this will stay the more complicated stuff, but the 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 it, it will get more like point and clicky where you say, okay, this is my source here, click that's the source, here's the configuration, how to connect to that source, boom, 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 boom. Like I think that's the that's the way to go. But this is this has a limit. People think some people think ah you don't need engineers anymore in a few years. That's no. Does that mean we're going to have less data engineers in the future? Because it's, it's the process is simplified, right? I think it's getting even. We we need even more. Yeah, I don't think it's it's not going. To, it's not going. To, it's staying for a while. The the process will yeah. not will some processes will get simplified. Yes. Um, the thing is, you need someone to actually understand what to do as well. Okay. And that's the, that's like, when we think like, Josh, you're a bit longer here um, and you, you're in the development realm. When we also, when we, when we were looking at the project and when we were designing the projects, the actual designing part was was really the hard part to understand okay these are our steps this is what we need to do this yeah. is how our data looks here this is how our data should look there because we want to access it in that way or we want to do that with it so that's the that's that's the part that how can you automate this it's, yeah that yeah the design part yeah that's that just takes experience and yeah you can't automate that it's to understand to what you need and to then go and design something that that person needs company needs like yeah that's where it's not going anywhere and that that's it so more companies are doing more and uh, are more processing we have also the thing that we we said, talked about before where the more complicated it gets the less automation you can use so it, it i don't think this this will get any uh, the demand will get any less the tools might get better and that's that's a good thing because sometimes it's really annoying to uh, create a pipeline sometimes it's really annoying to do monitoring because you have to go into cloudwatch on on azure and, uh, on G, uh, on aws and you have to look at the stupid log files to see something like I see, I see a trend there. Does that satisfy that before, or, or, or do yeah. you also mean some other, like in, in some specific tool areas, or? 
Yeah, I mean, I mean that makes that makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean the the amount data the amount of data in the future is definitely grow like exponentially, right? Exponentially. Mm. But yeah, I'm just wondering how the position and the tool is gonna involve. Mm. Yeah, but I agree. With also, one thing that we see that we uh, that we all see is it's going more in the direction of like these software as a service tools where you don't have to install something where you can you you have these tools out there if you want to stay independent from a cloud platform and if you or if you want to run something like locally on a local cloud or something but that's also something where where uh, where there's a move like the cloud platforms are uh, are getting better and better and better they're adding new services they're making the services easier to use that's really cool but like a few years ago you had to go through a struggle through days and, and weeks of configuring all the tools to actually run the whole platform and, and that's that's no longer really an issue and that's also a good thing <laughs>